also, so we are recording. Right. And then, oops, now I lost. There we are. Okay. So I'm going to do this really fast. No district. No district. There's so much happening around the mill district now. It's like so wild. That's great. We'll talk about that too. Can't wait. And this is good. Really, we're just letting people in on like our catch up meeting. <laughs> Talk about please making stuff. It's so great. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And <clears throat> all right. So I'm hitting the go live button. Go. It will do start it. to do its thing. Game on. Cinda was like, the beginning of every week is just watching you make sure that things are going well. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cinda was like, the beginning of every week is just watching you make sure that things are going well. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm muted over there. I'm going to pop back over here. I'll okay. just stop, start talking. Hi, everyone. Welcome this week to So Ask Us. We are revisiting with co-owner of Jake's at the Mill and Jake's Northampton, Alex Washit, which I'm super excited about. And we were just joking about how really you all are just kind of going to join us today for our catch-up process because it's been a minute since we got to do that. Yeah, it sure has. Space, right? Yeah, it's been, been a while. Yeah, lots going on. A lot so of things going on. Lot I'm psyched that you could do this, especially today, because the patio at Jake's is actually getting set up today. So we're going to yes. talk a little bit about your plans, but let's just pull back and start. Alex, welcome back to the show. How's it <laughs> Thanks going? Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to be back on. Great to, you know, see, see our virtual faces again. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So much virtual stuff and now transitioning someone into in-person stuff and I mean, we could just dive right in because I'm super curious how the transition is going for you guys and what you're sort of, you and, and your co-owner, Chris Ware, you've got a lot on your plate with sort of navigating what transitioning means. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and well, I would say, uh, you know, the place has been full for a long time. I, I would say actually the place has been full for probably about 10 years since we started um, because that's who we are. We always... Uh, <laughs> it take on more than maybe we should at times and um but i'm okay with that we made pieces yeah. of that a long time ago so the plate's always full it's just you know how many more plates can we stack on 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 top of each other and right. and i think certainly this past year and we'll just say the past year for sake of ease um it's been a bit more but uh it has i think everyone probably can relate to this it's 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 been an experience in you know, A, getting a larger plate, but then also being really careful with, uh, you know, what's going on. So it's been, um, it's always full, but it's, it's uh, just like your relationship with it. So it's, you know, it's an exciting time for that. And so with Jake's right now, uh, well, we were even, we weren't even sure if we we're going to be able to stay open just on the weekends all winter, but we were. You were. Fact, it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. And, and in fact, it was, uh more awesome than we expected because we were actually a lot busier than we expected um, really and and that was just a total surprise i think for all of us my staff and ourselves and um and so then it's been really and that you know we, we need that kind of right out, right out of the gate in january and um so yeah it's been that it's been an interesting kind of like i don't know just blew our expectations out of the water which is a wonderful yeah. thing so now yeah. we're just kind of getting geared up and going forward in a really positive direction and being careful of, you know what we are putting on our plate and yeah and um you know yeah not getting too full <laughs> <laughs> and it is it's it is such a balance and i'm curious um if you guys are open to sharing a little bit about your sort of internal business owner process because i know that you know there were a lot of directions you could have gone when you know the weather turned the patio which you guys did such an incredible pivot last year last yeah we had a lot, summer. Help. a lot of help so it, was, it wasn't just us <laughs> An effort on like all fronts yours yeah. included um yeah, yeah. all fronts no districts for mm. sure and um then, i'm sorry go ahead sorry. no i was just gonna say like 
you know, as, as you were nearing the end of that October, I think you started sort of breaking that down. Some businesses decided to close all winter. Some businesses decided to tough it out and keep their hours. How did you guys make the decision? Like what kind of support as business owners do you reach out to, including each other to be like, how do we do this? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Like, how does all of that work for you? Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, relying on your friends and, uh, you know, the, the ones close to you in your circle, professionally and personally, you know, that should always be a thing. You should always look out and, and get their perspective and, and see what they're doing. But it's equally as important to, you have to make decisions for yourself as yeah. a business. You have to, just because everyone's doing one thing doesn't mean that may, that that would be right for you, even though that is like oh, that clearly or it's very visibly like a good thing. Yeah. That might not be a good thing for you. And so, um, you know, we have a lot of professional uh, relationships that we that we reach out to in these times a lot last year. And I don't know anyway who hasn't. And now it's like kind of the beauty of it too. You realize like how big your network is and how, how big your, your support mm. network is. But yeah. um, at the end of the day, you got what makes sense for you. You got to do it. So for us closing yeah. down, I think our last day was November 1st for the outdoor patio, which was even longer than we you know, originally expected. Just the weather permitted that. Right. Sure. And trying to do some hybrid outdoor, you know, winter outdoor thing just, that just wasn't, wasn't, yeah, wasn't the card we want to play for. And, and, um, and then just staying open. So we did reduce down to two days of the week. I mean, and, every, and that just comes with like, you know, serious number crunching and serious like projections off of like, you know, well, they're like fake projections. You know, I mean, like historical data because everything got <laughs> yeah, right. Head. And so you're just kind of like, you're going with your gut a lot of times. And then you're also trying to understand, well, how does that work with my staff, mm. right? What are the limitations of my staff? What are, the, what are their capacities? What are the limitations of my customers? What are their capacities? And what are ours? And how does that all work together? And so going to weekends and being visible still was yeah. really the, the primary, I guess, the, you know, the drive to just still be visible mm -hmm. um, because we had closed down for, I would say, six weeks at um, the beginning of the pandemic. And so, you know, we saw what that did, and that was kind of hard to kind of um, you know, it's just hard to stay, get back, you know, be relevant in, in, in the face of, of everyone. And so, and with hours changing so much, I think with us going away for the winter, which, you know, financially had a lot of pros on that side and had some wow. time. Uh, but if we could meet certain target numbers on the weekend, we could, you know, it would, it would, we would lose a little bit less if we could stay open. So that was another part of it too. We're, we were going to lose, but we can lose a little less right and we'll still retain our employees yeah you know, still retain people in this capacity so yeah that was it was you know it's it's yeah weeks i mean months to really really suss it out and then you just gotta yeah. eventually you start to overanalyze and then you realize you just gotta make a decision and just go with it so yeah. you know, paralysis by indecision um and it totally surprised us that we were busier than we expected so yeah. we had problems <laughs> now we didn't have you know enough staff to, to accommodate the business and so right. and the first few weeks uh was the first three weeks of january it was really obvious how taxing it was on the very skeleton and i and this is the, the same for our northampton location this yeah although we didn't shorten our hours in northampton you know we, we the staff did you know contract and so mm. we are experiencing the very same thing and so we were it was very obvious the toll it was taking on the staff that we had because it was yeah. just you know, it was just like it was too much right and so we had to continue you know limiting our services so um you know uh, not able to do inside dining you can only do uh takeout this weekend or or partial indoor partial takeout and we just made that decision uh with the whole staff that you know we're gonna do what we can do with what we have to work with, meaning yeah. our staffing and, and and the operations, and we're not going to do an ounce more than that because we're not burning people. We're not. We're just. We're not going to try and keep squeezing blood out of the stone, mm. and just you know burn everyone out and just it's just not healthy. So yeah. if that means we got to work in some limited, even more limited capacity than than what we're doing, then that's what we're going to do. Yeah, and we're going to recognize that, and we're going to try and hire, and we're going to try and train, and we're going to try and staff, but it will be like an equal rise 
you know, typically you're like, yeah, business. So business goes up and you kind of like kind of inch up your, your workforce. Right. <laughs> it's like, no, it's gotta just be totally on the level because yeah, it's, uh, we got a long year ahead of us, you know, we yeah. gotta think long-term with this. So. Definitely. Definitely. One thing, one thing you said the other day, um, full disclosure audience, we did get to catch up the other day, but this is the first time I'm seeing your face. So we're like super catching up right now. Yeah. Um, but one thing you said the other day um, when we were first talking that really stuck with me was um, kind of an internal adjustment. And I think this is something that anyone who has worked in the service industry, not just food service, um, and especially owners of service industry businesses can resonate with, is you felt like it sort of adjusted your own expectation and kind of elevated the value, not the valuing, because obviously you value your staff, but but it sort of equalized for you, like our staff's well-being, what they're able to do, you know, is just as important as what we're able to output to people. And I, I took that, I really, that really resonated with me um, just, you know, I've been in the service industry. I have a lot of friends who are still in the service industry. And I feel like there's a little bit of a tide turning on a larger scale around service and what that means and how we say to the people in that industry, you're essential, you matter your well-being matters. I think so yeah. many business owners had an opportunity to be like, hang on, I'm, as you say, I'm not gonna squeeze blood out of this stone, the stone being my people and yeah. say, we have to keep producing at a certain level. We have to, so like, what would you say to other business owners, maybe by way of like, you know, solidarity of like equalizing your people with your output is important and might, actually be a beneficial thing to come out of this truly unprecedented time it feels like yeah i, well, I mean i'm certainly i'm you know i'm no we're, we're, i'm no spokesman for uh i know you know how to, <laughs> how to you know I, i'm just you know but it's no a great realization for, for, for being like a an example of other for other businesses right? <laughs> I, I mean or just anything i mean we're all just trying to we're just trying to make the best decisions we can with the information that's available to us. Yeah. While like looking maybe a little bit deeper than perhaps we did before. And so, you know, there's, it's not a, by any means an advice or anything. It's, I mean, it's, it's, our, it's our own self-exploration mm. and it's our own like transformative relationship with what we, who we are, what we are and what we're doing just as people. And, yeah. and while trying to survive a pandemic and while trying to stay healthy and while trying to be supportive and then also, you know, know when to ask for support and just trying to, just trying to get through it um, yeah. in the healthiest way we can. And so, so for us, I mean, I'm sure we probably upset some customers with the sporadicness of our available services, you know, throughout mm -hmm. this winter. Um, and also the, just the level in which we could operate that. And I totally get that um, mm -hmm. like wholeheartedly, but we're, we're just people, you know, my staff are, we're all just regular people just trying to do what we can to just like make the next day a little bit better than last. Yeah. In whatever incremental micro way that is. And that's it. I mean, so it's not for lack of trying. It's not for lack of effort. But Definitely. sometimes the best you can do is just is not going to be what others' ex expectations may be. Mm -hmm. And just, I guess, coming to peace in terms of that. And so and not to say, like, I mean, we value and we value every single person that decides to spend a, a single penny within mm -hmm. our establishment. I mean, it's it's the reason we exist. I mean, it's the reason we pay our bills. I mean, it's, it's how we survive, but yeah. if there is, you know, just understand, yeah, we, we probably, we definitely fell on our faces a couple of times this, this past, like whatever, three months <laughs> since we transitioned to the winter. I mean, God, we fell on our face. I mean, I mean, how many times? Yeah, sure. Many times, but everyone does. And we're just trying to do our best. And, and if, if it's, we, if we did, like, we'll, we'll absolutely try to make it right. Yeah. So just, you know, don't, don't just cut us out. So yeah. you know, any of that, 
I guess that's so I guess I don't know if that really in a roundabout way that's a didn't answer your question at all, but he did a little bit though. You no, know, it's just it's just the reality of it if what we're trying to like just yeah, not trying to yeah. lose our minds like everybody else, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I I feel like you're totally answering the question and and a comment just came through um, about appreciating your honesty. And, you know, for me, that's been a really important part of this pandemic period is that I feel like everyone has gotten more honest <laughs> about, you know, and, and that's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, trying to balance um, the importance of things, recognizing that the people who come in and love Jake's and love the food. And, you know, through this pandemic time, it was a comfort to them or it made them feel good to spend money locally or whatever they're getting out of that moment. And then, Definitely. yeah, just recognizing that that same getting something out of it should come from the places we work and should come from what we give as people. I think that's totally answering the question. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. And, and I think I, I like you, you brought up honesty. I, I think. So personally, that's been a real, you know, that's been a real, like, I guess, just focus or just been a shift of the more honest I can be in every facet of my life really is it's the worst it'll ever get. Yeah. And if you just put it all out there and just own it in whatever way and just say whatever needs saying to be right honest about it you know it can't get any worse than that and i think mm -hmm. for me that's just my own personal like it that was just been a very profound thing yeah I've been trying to work towards and so i guess naturally that just sort of creeps its way into just the transparency of what our business is and and where we're at and just being like i know it's isn't and every business should be held to an expectation right i mean it, it, and that's sure. And, sure and you know you can get away, you know, once or twice with the kind of, you know, disappointing someone, but eventually, you know, if you do it too often, you, they're going to, they're going to go somewhere else and right for right. so. I and mean, that's, well, that's, it, it's a free market that way. And that's what's, that's, what's great about it. You know, so you have an obligation to, you know, meet those standards. Sometimes you just don't, but, you know, as long as you can learn from it, okay, well, what went wrong? Yeah. What, where did we, where were we deficient? Um, what happened? You know, what, what, transpired for us not to meet those expectations for their customer, then at least we can try and analyze that and improve or lessen that, you know, that, that possibility for the next time. And yeah. hopefully we're around long enough where we can continue doing that and continue to improve and, 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 and you know, be more continuous with those. those yeah. Things, so. I have a feeling you will be. <laughs> and there are um, more comments coming through um, so definitely hop over to our Facebook page and read them. Um, I think if I read them right now, you'll just get bright red. So <laughs> we'll keep going. Yeah, but, let's um, not, yeah, we'll save that. I know <laughs> my, my, my beard's already red enough. I don't need to it, so let's, let's keep going. <laughs> but one thing that I do want to uh, pull out of, of one of these comments is, you know, the the willingness of people to support a business that values its employees, that that actually becomes in some sort of cyclical way, something you're giving to the people that come in because people can feel that among yeah. anyone well, who yeah, works totally at a full place. circle. That's oh, so definitely. Cool about it. It's like, you know, it's just, it's like whether the, you know, it, what we see from our, our, our staff, what we see from our, our customers, what we see from just people in our community, um just that love that we get you know just keeps going and it's just yeah. doesn't want to give it back and it just it's just this awesome like endless circle of just like trying to be supportive even more each time and so every time come, someone comes in and you know they didn't have to they had they didn't have to swing by and grab a cup of coffee or yeah. whatever it was or just a I don't know it's just I'm really, you know, this right focusing on like the silver linings of things and focusing yeah. on like the pauses from negative experiences. I mean, that's pretty I think everyone can agree, like it's it's been a fairly negative experience since, you know, say March 15th of last year. <laughs> and so so how do you counter that? Well, um, not so easy maybe in the beginning, um, until we kind of 
until everyone can kind of wrap their head around what's happening. But yeah, you counter that with just trying to, to pick out the the really beautiful things that that can come from that. And I think that's this, the strength of 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 individuals and in in themselves, yeah. and also the you know the the supportiveness of of and people in their community and their surroundings and their loved ones and their family. And yeah, I don't know it's like it's. I hate the old adage, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, but gosh darn, if that isn't right half the time. And so, you know, as cliche as, well, not as cliche, but not that, it's not that anything's going to kill us, but, you know, when you are subjected to stressors and when you are subjected to difficult times, and I'm just speaking on my own, my personal experience, this, especially this past winter. Yeah. It makes you really appreciate, when you're in a really dark spot, it makes you really appreciate the light. And mm -hmm. when the chip, you know, when you're really, really down, it just opens you up to this like amazing journey of like nothing but positives because you've been there, you've been in the, in the, this really low spot. Yeah. And you, can, you tasted it and you're like, okay, well, this is terrible. <laughs> and, but this is the lowest it can get. So I can only get better from here and it can only taste sweeter the farther I go. Yeah. And so for me, I think that's really exciting. And I, I and, so it is, it actually is exciting. Yeah. So this transformation from a year ago, every single day, it just gets a little bit sweeter. Yeah. And that's awesome. It so is. I it wouldn't, is. I wouldn't change the past year at all. That's screwed up to say. <laughs> I feel that way too in odd ways, right? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not an easy thing to say. And, and certainly it's not completely true. Right. I'm, of course. I'm, I'm a few things. Right. Uh, you know, I would certainly like to, <laughs> you know, change the, the fact of, you know, how many unfortunate people have, have passed and been affected by this terrible thing. Yeah. But for my own personal growth, that's all yeah. I'm talking about. My personal growth, my personal experience. Yeah. You have to you have to go through some hard times. And so that's, you know, that's, I'm, I'm not trying to diminish from what has right. transpired this past year, but um, the, you know, where you, where you are now, that's, right. that's what I'm trying to focus on. Mm, I appreciate you sharing that. I, and I think a lot of people can resonate with that no matter how personally challenging the, the time has been, and it has certainly been different for everyone. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. the collective experience that we're sort of holding and processing now, I think will, will take years, but the, you know, what is it like for you now? We're at this moment today where things are gonna yeah. set up again to be outside again. You guys are yeah, sort of deep in the hiring, like, all yeah, right, it's we gotta- wonderful. It's, it's so yeah. wonderful. I mean. Yeah, so like we said, our, our outdoor patio is being constructed right now. <laughs> and, you know, we're, we're hoping for April 14th uh, to Wednesday, we're hoping to keep as a target to open up for five days a week. But, you know, if our staffing level isn't there, then we just can't do it. And right. so, you know, and so that's what we've been really clear to everyone. I mean, heck, we were originally planning on open for Fridays come this Friday. But, you know, we, we realized there's no way we can do that. Yeah. And so our plan, you know, our tentative date is April 14th, open for five days. Um, we have no idea what kind of business we'll, we'll see um, on the weekdays, you know, but the weekends have been really strong and that's wonderful. So we'll work towards that. If we can continue hiring people front of the house, back, I mean, every, we need every position. If we can continue doing that and, and continue building our team and not just, you know, just plugging in people, but really, yeah, being really focused on you know creating that can support itself, support everyone there. Yeah, and um, and yeah, that's that's what we're trying to do. So hopefully we'll get there. Oh, we'll, we'll, you know, we're working on. We're working on it for two months, and if we do, great. Uh, if we have to push it off another week, then we'll push it off another week. And yeah, that's just the reality of it. You know, what's one more week or two? <laughs> At this point, of, right? of yeah i mean it, we'll get there but we we would you know but once again this is our take on it this yeah. is not everyone makes their own call yeah everyone and this is just our take and so that's what we're working with right now yeah, we're yeah. Excited. i'm really excited yeah really excited. right yeah that's so Super cool excited. i'm glad it feels exciting i feel like yeah. it's totally possible to get to this point and be like oh no <laughs> But yeah, no, not. seriously, it's it's uh, it seems impossible. Yeah, thinking back to you know, you know, talking about being excited for 
No, I think it's so awesome. And I think everyone is, is also, I'm seeing this, this general shift in mood and yeah. more people being vaccinated. And I think that's wonderful and, and more just better understanding of, of the virus itself and, yeah. you know, new and improved therapeutics for it. Um, I just think everything's going in a really great direction. Yeah. So, I totally, I know. I yeah. totally agree. And it's, some, there's something so comforting for me about, I think it's one thing, I was just talking about this the other day, it's one thing that I love about living in a place that has winter is that there is that sort of collectivism around coming out of the winter and that mood shift that happens like across yeah. everyone all at once. And just, <laughs> just for me, you know, I, I went back to being in the office uh, in February because we brought a new member of our team in, speaking of hiring, um, and all That's of great. a sudden it was, it was harder to, you know, communicate virtually and there was like this onboarding process that had to happen and then things were kind of opening simultaneously and I had a lot of resistance at first to leaving my house because of my own personal cocooning process, Yeah, you know, but but being back in the mill district, being back in the office, seeing people outside, seeing businesses opening up, the harp also has reopened. So yes, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, there, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's great to have great to have our neighbors back. Yeah, it's great to have neighbors yeah. back. And I I drove by the other day, and everyone was you know at distanced tables outside and wearing masks yeah. if they weren't eating. And I drove by, and I was like, oh, this is this is happening, and this is going to work. That we're going to come back together and you know, all together explore this next process of being back out in the world because we want yeah. to be and we need to be. And, you know, so as you look forward to not only being open, but but just interacting more, interacting with other businesses in the mill district, interacting with people coming by, you know, we have a lot of tables around the mill district. So hopefully people will get takeout, but not just go back home. Um, you know, what do you look forward to as far as the kind of opportunities maybe adjacent to your business itself? Like, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, well, certainly, you know, I'm excited that provisions is also, you know, now yes, the, right. and has been for, for a bit now. Yeah. So I'm excited for, you know, reclaiming that, I don't know, like that, that neighborly mm. bond, if you will, that, you know, kind of got, um, yeah, just, I guess, got put on hold a, a bit. And in, the, in that trajectory that we were in uh, as a as a business in the middle district um, that, you know, that February of last year. Yeah. And yeah, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, and, and I think, you know, everyone is, it, this is, this is gonna be a thing we're gonna, it's gonna be around for, we're gonna be dealing with this for a while. And yeah. it very may, may well, you know, uh, get bad again. You know, not that it's not that it's good right now, but it's it could yeah. get a little bit worse. Right. Who knows? And so I think just being having like last year under everyone's belt and knowing how certain things may affect someone now, or I think we're, everyone's just a bit better prepared to you know transition to whatever need transitioning needs and like mentally, fear, physically, spiritually, you know, mm. all of it, uh, emotionally. Yeah. And um. So I'm excited to just kind of keep inching closer to, you know, a, a, maybe a new normal and, and, you know, I don't know, just re-strengthen those bonds that were being formed and maybe, you know, not that they got weak, but they just got kind of just paused for a bit. Yeah. Um, they're still strong. And, and I'm, so I'm excited to see that and, and experience that as well. Um, so and just see, you know, just like the natural, the growth of that area that sort of once again just got paused. I'm excited to see it kind of start back up. You know, it's like the, the spring flowers are opening back up. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's just a, it's just a good feeling. It's just good energy. I mean, I was just down there this morning and yeah, it was just good to be back and to feel that, you know, and, and see new developments and see, see the, like I said, provisions and, and I'm not entirely sure what else um, new developments may have, but perhaps I'm sure there's new residents as well. And um, like you said, the harp, it was great to see the harp um, open. And yeah, and, um, yeah, it's not, you know, not to be deceived, like it's, oh, back to good old times, but it's, yeah, it's yeah. not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's, it's just new times and they're, they were just as good and probably, if not better. So, right. uh, yeah. 
Yeah, no, it is. That's it's what I'm excited time. about. Yeah. yeah, right. I'm excited yeah. too. And we are. So it's, you know, provisions, it's the harp, it's you guys yeah. opening. Um, we're opening the general store and gallery, uh, similar to you, hopefully Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> That'll be the thing. Um, yeah. But we adjust as as we need to adjust around construction and availability of, of people working on the project. Yeah. And the apartments in North Square, 97% full. Great. That's a huge change. That's fantastic. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. And yeah, awesome. Yeah. And I, to me, coming into this new time, you know, when we're sitting here talking about how we just had a year to reflect and kind of go inward and, and go to, honestly, some dark spaces, I definitely resonate with that. Yeah. Um, you know, so we're all kind of coming out of this forced hibernation. And I think that it will be a totally new time than it would have been in the past because of that. So I definitely yeah. see that silver lining and share your excitement around it yeah. for sure. Cool. I'm glad, glad you're having that experience too. It's awesome. Yeah. So to get just for a minute into sort of technical stuff, you guys yes. are hiring. If yeah, we're hiring. Um, <laughs> What's every a way position. for people to, to um, get info, connect with you? Where should they find that information? Um, yeah, I mean, the easiest would be to email us, um, jakesnorthampton at gmail.com. Um, and when we, you know, we have just you know, revolving ads up uh, through Indeed, Craigslist, Facebook. I mean, they're all, it's all up there for all positions. Yeah. Um, or just even calling us, you know, give us a call. I mean, really, but the email is always the best, jakesnorthampton at gmail.com. And yeah, like I said, line cooks, you know, uh, food runners, servers. Um, we just really want to get geared up and well staffed. Yeah. And so right now we're still doing 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. April 14th, tentatively, uh, Wednesday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, you know, and last year was really cool too because it was, you know, definitely a year of experimentation. Um, we had tried the dinner thing a little bit. Um, oh, yes, right. And it just didn't really take for us. And also, it was just proving more and more difficult with uh, with the staff. And, you know, just once yeah. again, like, you know, just trying to squeeze a bit too much. And we didn't want to do it. We were able to do it correctly and not squeeze anyone too hard. But we realized the juice it just wasn't worth the squeeze and so yeah. uh, we're not doing that we're just really trying to focus on our core business yeah. um we also have really scaled back any sort of catering um and in private events and functions we're just really putting a lot of that on pause focus on our core business um what jake's does and 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 focus on like that harmony between our core business and our customers and our staff and really just get to, to the point where we know we're knocking out of the park every single service yeah. for every day we're open and everyone's walking away happy. Our staff, our customers, ourselves. And when we can get there, you know, then maybe we'll throw like a little single P on the plate and go from there, you know, we're only gonna <laughs> be one little thing at a time, but you know, so, but that's, yeah. that's where we're focused. That's, so that's the technical aspect of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. That's great. It's great. And it's so, I just hear a lot of like intentionality around what you guys are doing, which I think is so awesome yeah. and, and not always usual, especially for food service businesses. And especially I think for restaurant culture, it often is like this go, go, go mentality. And maybe that's- Yeah, you get swept up in that. I mean, you just get, yeah, I mean, the whole, our whole career, I mean, it's just been go, 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 go. It was, you know, yeah. as soon as I started washing dishes when I was whatever, how old as a teenager, go 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 and you just right. nod up and you just get so wrapped up in that it's i mean it's not a darn thing wrong with that <laughs> it's, but it's very consuming and once you're in yeah. it it's really really hard it puts blinders yeah. on really it's really hard to slow down and just take a break and you don't realize yeah. how hard you've been burning for so long and so sometimes it just takes a pandemic <laughs> stopping your tracks and just on from my personal experience of it is that so I experienced that quite a few years ago. I experienced that um, our second year, uh, so nine years ago, I guess, or something like that. Wow. And yeah. in Northampton, I, and I it was my first back major back injury, mm. and it literally stopped me from going. Yeah. Stopped. You know, this is yeah. your life now. You have this thing that you injured, and mm. and so 
as devastating as that was, you know, we realized, well, everything around us actually got better because it, it just created a, like a, a shift. Yeah. And so that was going, and then it happened again to me a couple of years after that. And then once again, just another reset and taking from it, well, you know, it did do all these other positive things. Right. And, <laughs> you know, so every time, and then and I guess the ultimate you know, <laughs> um, brick wall was a global pandemic. So I don't yeah. know how much more you can, there's a pretty big wall to hit. So for everyone. And so once again, it's just, it makes you just be more aware. Yeah. yeah. It makes you just be more intentional and yeah. it gives you that breath to like think mm. and stop and kind of like reanalyze what the heck's been going on <laughs> right oh so, so there yeah so there you go it's just yeah hitting a wall ain't a bad thing all the time sometimes you gotta hit a wall yeah. to kind of just like take stock and what's well why did you hit the wall well what trajectory yeah. were you on so yeah you're not no walls in front of us right now though yeah so, right it. yeah it's amazing it's yeah. wonderful really and so for, for folks looking to stay up to date on when hours change and when things open up. Yeah, definitely our Facebook is, you yeah. know, um, definitely been the most consistent. Our website, of course, um, jakesnerfayton.com. Um, yeah. Find us on Facebook, um, Jake Samhurst. Um, Jake Samhurst, yeah, those are our Facebook, you know. Yeah. Um, tags, links, I don't know. I'm so, I'm so yeah. such an idiot. Um, <laughs> handles, I don't know. Um, but yeah, but yeah, check us out. I mean, actually, so this Saturday, so we're still doing, I definitely want to talk about this though still. It's yes, like, I was going to ask still have you, a I know where you're going. We still have this amazing relationship with um, with Rise Dispensary. Um, Dispensary is down the, down the road from us. Um, and we still, every, the first Saturday of every month, we're still doing, you know, the Breakfast for the Brave, sponsored by them. Um, that's, you know, totally them. And people should check them out. They're really good people over there. And, you know, originally we started that, oh, I guess maybe, yeah, 18 months ago or so yeah. and it was it was really um because they're very heavily involved with uh with veterans and so that was the breakfast of the brave was was for you know veterans who current or or or, or retired um as a you know basically free breakfast on for them and, and and their loved ones and their family and and certainly then the pandemic it just made the most natural sense to to extend that to to our frontline workers so yeah. Um, so yeah, first Saturday every month, we're still doing that at both locations now, which, which, is, which is even better before wow. it was just And so they've extended that to uh, our Northampton location. So yeah, if, um, swing on by. Yeah. If, so wonderful thing that they're, that they, that they do with us. Yeah. yeah. It really is. And 18 months, God, that blows my mind that it's been that long. Yeah. So yeah, this Saturday coming up, um, mm -hmm. is the first Saturday of the month. Um, so yeah, folks watching, if you are a veteran, if you're a frontline worker, you can go to Jake's and the meal is on rise for you and for the people that come with you. Is that right? Yeah, for your immediate family. Yeah, we, we ask that, you know, keep Incredible. it to, your, to the immediate family. Um, That's so, so yeah, it's, it's whether it's dine-in or takeout, it's, it's all it's all available. Um, if, if it is going to be takeout, we, you know, we definitely have to, um, you can't, we can't, you know, relate that message through our online ordering platforms. So please just give us a call um, on our, on our number, excuse me. Um, and, and so we can, you know, do it correctly. Yeah. That way, but yeah, yeah we're super excited. So this Saturday and then, you know, in two weeks from today, we hope to be open for full service outdoors. Yeah. Five days a week. And, um, you know, and if, and, and if we can get our, if we can get things together, we would love to try and open up even for maybe, you know, next Friday and just give that a shot yeah. um, for, so we'll see. So we'll, Facebook will we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Definitely. So. Everyone watching, stay tuned on social media because things do change. Everything is iterative right now. But I just, I'm so impressed with how you guys have, have navigated all of this. And I really appreciate oh, you coming back you. on today to, to talk um, about it. Absolutely. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Happy to speak with you and see you again. Um, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little catch up. This is great. Well, I hope we'll you have do it again at the end of the summer and, and see what? what we should definitely do this, you know, maybe like six months from now. And yes, I think a, so yeah, too. Yeah, many holes were in the story uh, <laughs> uh, that, was, that was narrated today. <laughs> right. You got to check in a lot with an iterative process. Just go word for word, you know, just take it. <laughs>
<laughs> you yeah. said this. Is that still yeah. true? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Pleasure Alex, thanks so yeah. much. Thank you. I hope thank you have you. a great rest of your day. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Bye.